We conclude the coverage of the King's Gambit by having a look what, uh, at what I think is the best way of meeting uh, the Kizuritsky uh, Gambit and that's with the move d7 to d6 and now white obviously has to take on uh, on g4 with the knight and here black plays the move bishop to e7 rather annoying move uh, to face uh, for white because there's really nothing to do actually against the move bishop takes h4 so the only question that remains is uh, how is white going to sacrifice uh, uh, it there are a few ways to do so um, one is the move d2 to d3 and after bishop takes h4 knight f2 uh, black plays the nice move bishop to g3 and this uh, bishop on g3 is really a menace for uh, for white it's very difficult to get rid of uh, the bishop very nicely defends uh, the pawn on uh, on f4 and keeps that king on e1 a little bit uh, stuck uh, uh, there pinning the knight on uh, on f2 after let's say queen f3 queen g5 knight c3 hoping to get rid of the uh, uh, strong bishop with knight e2 knight c6 Knight e2 and now queen to g7. Um, black uh, prepares for knight takes g3 because now after f takes g3, knight h3, there's knight d4 with tempo. Of course, the knight on e2 has taken the uh, bishop and now doesn't control the d4 square any anymore. So if the queen d1, bishop g4, it's already clear that black has uh, a very strong uh, initiative. Therefore, I think the best move is simply to go d2 to d4. And after bishop takes h4, knight f2, bishop g3, to go uh, uh, queen to f3. I should also mention the move knight uh, to c3. Now I think black simply plays knight f6, preparing uh, the move knight g4, which would actually win a material. So white is forced to play bishop e2, knight c6. And uh, once again, uh, I don't really see white's composition in this position actually. To me, it looks like Black has some sort of initiative going on on the uh, on the king side, as well as uh, having one pawn uh, more. True, it's not the prettiest pawn in in the world, but still, it is uh, it is a pawn. Let let's analyze a little bit more. Bishop f3. Now I think Black simply goes bishop d7, prepares uh, 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 to uh, develop yet more. Knight e2 and queen to e7. Now Black is uh, ready to castle queen side if uh, if if needed, and uh, if knight takes g3, f takes g3, black is ready to take on e4 at the moment uh, the knight on f2 uh, leaves. So uh, all in all, uh, knight c3 uh, not really a uh, solution. My main uh, line is queen f3 in this position, trying to take on, uh, on f4. And um, I spent some time on this position after queen f6. <coughs> because uh, after knight c3, queen takes d4. Obviously the only move because uh, uh, already some big threats were uh, were in, in the air as well as knight e2. So queen takes d4 and now knight b5 and this position is, uh, is surprisingly uh, uh, unclear actually. Uh, if for instance queen b6, bishop takes f4, bishop takes f4, queen takes f4 and white is a pawn down here but okay obviously all of black's pieces are on the 8th uh, rank and this uh, gives uh, white just enough time to create uh, enough counterplay. For instance, a6, we play queen g3, preparing the move queen g7. And I analyzed this a bit deeper uh, uh, in the notes attached to this uh, uh, DVD. But uh, all in all, the conclusion is that uh, these are complications that black should not be uh, uh, aiming for. Instead, there is a much simpler uh, uh, solution after the move queen f3. It's not the move queen f6, but simply knight c6. Very, very simple uh, chess act, actually. Um, now after c3, black can follow up with a move like queen f6, when there's no longer the maneuver knight c3 to worry about, knight c3 to, to e2 or knight c3 to d5. So here black has a bit of a, a freer uh, uh, hand. Uh, my main line ran bishop takes f4, but simply bishop takes f4, queen takes f4, knight takes d4, um, followed by uh, after queen d2, knight e6, knight c3, and queen g5, of course, the queen exchange is uh, is always a good idea when we're uh, up in material. So actually, very easy solution uh, uh, to this uh, uh, problem. And in fact, um, I don't have much more uh, uh, to show you, I'm afraid. It's just a very simple solution 
uh, to this problem. So after, D, after knight e5 we go d6, we follow up with bishop e7, and after d4 we, we grab the pawn on h4, continue by defending uh, the pawn on f4 and stabilizing this very strong uh, bishop on g3. Then we follow it up with knight c6, preventing this strong maneuver knight c3 to d5, because now after c3 we can play queen f6 without any uh, uh, worry. And after, for instance, bishop takes f4, bishop takes f4, queen f4, knight takes d4, it's just, uh, it's just clearly better for, uh, for, for black. Uh, the last thing I need to show you, perhaps, is the move bishop to b5. But now after queen f6, uh, uh, knight c3, queen takes d4, uh, the move knight b5 is no longer uh, available, which annoyed me a little bit in the uh, previous variation. So you see the, uh, all the different advantages of the move knight c6. Uh, it's, it's good to remember a few key, key points, the ones that I just showed. But in general, uh, if you do just that, then uh, uh, white is not uh, having uh, a very good time in this uh, variation. So this concludes our coverage, as I said, uh, of the uh, uh, King's Gambit. Yeah, for the fans uh, out there, the King's Gambit fans, maybe it was not uh, always a pleasure uh, to watch. Indeed, Black is doing uh, uh, pretty well uh, in, in most of the lines, but uh, uh, don't count, uh, rule out the uh, surprise value. Don't rule out uh, the fact that in time uh, new ideas can be found. Of, of, of course, in doing research for this DVD, I myself managed to find uh, a few new ideas and I'm sure uh, uh, in time uh, uh, other new ideas will be found. So don't uh, give up just, uh, just yet. It's definitely a fun opening as I uh, said in the introduction uh, to this uh, uh, gambit. It's the mother of all gambits and I do hope that uh, new ideas will be found to, to bring it back uh, alive. For the moment we have to conclude that black is really in, uh, in excellent uh, shape uh, uh, throughout all the uh, critical lines uh, in the King's Gambit.